you know, I created the organization because there was a lack of cultural activities that I wanted to do on the south side of Chicago. I had moved to this neighborhood that's called Grand Crossing, and I found myself, you know, kind of young and, and participating in cultural activity, but um, none of those cultural activities that I was participating in were like immediate, immediately around me. What I found is that there are still so few models of locally run, locally led cultural institutions in our cities around the country. And I think Rebuild is one of, one of the few institutions in the city of Chicago at least that is saying these things and, and the people and the artists, the creatives who live among us are doing some of the most innovative work in the world and they deserve to be amplified, they deserve to be highlighted, they deserve the resources necessary to do the great work they wanna do. And that amplification work, that platform work, is one of the ways that we um, talk about equity. It's really quite impossible to, to say how important the Wallace resources has been, you know. Normally when you get a grant, you get a grant for a year, it helps you a little bit. But we, we really were at a major point of change in the organization where we needed a tremendous amount of infrastructural support. And the resources that they've given us has allowed us to think together about the future, uh, create the infrastructure that we need, and we're continuing to create that infrastructure so that our development team and our communications team, our PR, so that we could say to the world more about what we're up to. Most philanthropic organizations want to support um, the programmatic activity. And if the ad administrative costs associated with running those programs are too high, they might also give you a smack on the wrist. Wallace has been invested in our administration and operations from the beginning. And that that, that support, which is often the more difficult aspects of the fundraising that we have to do, that support from a foundation like Wallace has been very important because it also says to our local peers that what we're doing in the nation matters. So I, I feel like um, having that, that additional support, which we can also say like, hey, we need expertise in financing structure or um, in marketing expertise. We, we, we'd like to have more support around our HR activities. That those are things where like, in addition to any financial investment, they can also share their network with us. And I think Rebuild also uh, is not interested in being a great institution. It's interested in making great culture happen. And so there are times when we have to hack or um, uh, disrupt the ways in which um, the world expect for uh, institutions to work in a, in a black neighborhood. And we try, to, we try to call that innovation, we call it social innovation, but really it's just like looking at what the real um, opportunities are, who the great amazing people are in a place, and then by celebrating them, it means that sometimes the tactics that we use in order to manifest culture might look unorthodox. And that, un that, that way of working has really served us well because it allows us to be pioneering. It also takes the institutional anxiety away that we have permission to grow and change and articulate that change that's happening with an ally who will be with us for the next five years. And so I, it's, it's quite an honor to receive a Wallace Grant, but I couldn't be more thankful that I feel like I've gained friends as a result of the support that they've given us.